you're on a wave, you see a section and in your mind you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do some damage. I'm gonna spray my friends in the eyes. It's gonna be the best head of my life. It's gonna look great on camera. And you wind up to it and as you get there, something goes wrong and you're like, Whenever your mind is dealing with a stressful situation, one of three things is going to happen. You're either going to freeze in the moment, you're going to run from the stress, or if you've trained like a fighter, you may stand and fight. So depending on how you reacted to the perceived threat, if you're frozen or if you're in flight mode, you're uncoachable. But if you're able to train to a point where you're in fight mode, you are then able to take information given to a bar coach and execute on that information. So we have to try to get you out of the flight response, the freeze response, where you're negatively acting to the situation. So here's a scenario, I coach this kid at the beach and the heat starts and he can't connect anything. Basically his parents are on the beach watching him. They aren't the richest of parents but they work super hard to get the kid to every event, buy him new boards. So there's a lot of stress riding on that kid to perform. The kid's picked up some sponsors, he wants to do really, really well so there's pressure on him to perform in front of the sponsors. His peers watching him. There's friends watching him. He can not make the right decision, chooses the wrong waves. When he stands up, it feels like he's got two left feet. His body's not responding. His heart rate's elevating. He can't breathe. Because he can't breathe, he is getting more fatigued. He's making more faults and he can't think clearly. At that stage, that kid absolutely hates surfing and would like nothing more than to be removed from that and to almost just give it up, throw the towel in and just get away from the stress. Funny thing though, siren goes, bah, heat ends, he catches the wave in. Knowing that he's lost and he's got nothing else to lose, he surfs the wave to the beach, off the bottom, off the top, bang, connects it, connects it, connects it, says to himself, I can surf, like I don't hate it, just don't know what happened in the heat. So the funny thing is, when you take the threat away and the time frame away and the pressure away, he was then able to find the fight mode and able to surf really, really well. So that kid was me. I was on the QS competing and Parents weren't rich, I was a diabetic, did everything right, put a lot of pressure, a lot of stress on myself and I couldn't perform under it. I would go into flight mode or I would freeze. I was more worried about losing the heat than I was actually riding a wave and performing. And after the heat, once the contest was taken away and I just got to surf the wave and understand that wave and ride the wave, I could ride it really, really well. So I take it upon myself that whenever I coach someone, I wanna get them out of freeze mode, I wanna get them out of flight mode because it hurts, it's not a nice place to be in. And I wanna get you to interact with something magical, which is that energy in the wave. And by just taking that one wave, it's like flicking a negative switch to a positive switch, and it can make your entire day one wave. Had I have known that information when I was younger competing, just the awareness of what my body's going through, knowing that I'm not a freak and that I don't suck, it's just a response that everyone has and that I just needed to deal with it. That would have made me a better surfer in itself. Now that response determines the line that you take on a wave. A beginner that's frozen, 
It's going to drift down to the bottom of the wave. An intermediate in flight mode is going to race out onto the shoulder where he feels comfortable. But a pro that's relaxed is going to slow down. He's going to utilize the entire wave face using as much of the wave's energy. He's going to surf tight in the pocket where he gets the most amount of feeling from that wave. And he's going to make it look effortless because he's using his wave's energy and not his body's energy.